Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist working with Cradle Apollo, Motherhood, Wims and Telluride, Bangalore. Beta thalassemia is a genetic uh, condition, it's a genetic disease. It is an autosomal recessive disease. So, if, uh, it, ha it transfers from one generation to another generation depending upon whether it is a minor or a major patient of fetus beta thalassemia. Uh, now the incidence is almost 1 in 1 lakh and these patients are not able to build up their own blood hemoglobin levels so they land up with severe anemia. Now as I said beta thalassemia can be a minor or a major. So the minor beta thalassemia or a trait when the actual uh, chromosomes don't have the their the chrome in this the chromosomes either both will be positive or one will be positive when the one one is positive it is called um, recessive and when both are there they become positive and they become major so when they a patient a person has beta thalassemia major they have active anemia requiring lot of blood transfusions and all so Either way is minor or major, sexual intercourse is not a problem. If the patient has to be healthy and not an anemic, that's all. Sexual intercourse is usually not a problem. Marital counseling, uh, definitely patient needs a genetic counseling before uh, per a person undergoes um, his marriage, number one. Number two, definitely should not marry in relatives or in the same community, very close community because the other person may also be having a trait. So if it is he is a minor and she is also a minor, both they have 25% chance that the baby can be a major. So the appropriate genetic counseling has to be done before a marriage is fixed and uh, both uh, partners should be checked for beta thalassemia traits. So if the beta thalassemia only one pa partner is minor and the other is normal then there is no nothing the baby will not be born with major but the carrier it will become a carrier of thalassemia. So appropriate genetic counseling has to be done on all known patients of beta thalassemia before marriage is underwent. And there are various blood tests from hemoglobin, ferritin levels, transferrin levels. There are a number of blood tests which has to be done and which has to be regularly monitored during the life of beta thalassemia to keep him healthy.